Now at six, Virginia is about to become one of the last states in the South with broad access to abortion. That's after North Carolina and South Carolina take historic action to restrict the procedure. But what could this mean for Virginia? Tonight we are on your side at six with a closer look. Raven Brown live at the state capitol talking to both sides of this heated debate. Raven. Well, Kurt, with uh, or North Carolina and South Carolina becoming making these latest moves. Both sides, pro-life and pro-choice groups, are gearing up for a fight, and that's putting a lot of pressure on Governor Glenn Youngkin. With North Carolina lawmakers overturning their governor's veto on an abortion ban, the state becomes the fourth surrounding Virginia to ban the procedure. South Carolina is also working to implement an abortion ban as more southern states enforce restrictions. An impact is expected here in Virginia. For those of us here in Virginia, it will have a ripple effect as we we anticipate thousands of people will come to Virginia to seek care. Jamie Lockhart with Planned Parenthood Advocates of Virginia says it's a concern that an influx of women seeking abortions will put pressure on providers and could impact existing appointments. We know that whenever there are restrictions in, in neighboring states that impacts the access, not only for people in those states who will need to travel to access care, um, but also people who live in those access states like Virginia. So I would say that Virginia's abortion laws are sort of more akin to China and North Korea than our neighboring states now. Todd Gacky at the Family Foundation says he's also worried that Virginia may become an abortion destination for the abortion industry. We're going to start to see more of an influx of, of individuals coming to the state of Virginia. And we just want to make sure that there are no, um, no new abortion clinics that are beginning to pop up in, in different localities and that we're doing all that we can to protect um, the lives of innocent unborn from the abortion industry. Governor Glenn Youngkin says he supports a 15 week ban, something he feels could satisfy both sides. I think that uh, the, the movement of folks around the United States is is uh, something that every every state is going to have to address or at least uh, reconcile. Uh, I, I'm I'm really focused uh, as uh, I'm trying to serve all Virginians and bring us together around a bill to protect life in 15 weeks. And again, abortion still legal here in Virginia. That 15 week ban that Governor Glenn Youngkin wants to see here. It could happen here depending on the outcome of the General Assembly election later this year. Live in Richmond, Raven Brown, NBC 12. All right. Thank you, Raven. Well, we are less than 24 hours now.